Good afternoon or good evening, uh, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining us uh, today. My name's Richard and I'll be moderating today's session. For now, I'd just like to introduce you to Sarah, who is a laughter yoga leader and teacher. And I've been told, I did a quiz last week where apparently the average human laughs 13 times a day, but I'm sure after this session, we'll probably do it 13 times in the next 20 minutes. So over <laughs> to you, Sarah. <laughs> Many more times than 13 in the next 20 minutes. I hope it's going to be one continuous barrel of laughs. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Uh, I am here to inspire you so that you can take care of yourselves in this crazy time we're living in and also inspire your clients in new and important ways, all doing it with laughter. So if I told you that I could change your life in 20 minutes, if you give me your full attention and take a ride with me on a vacation. Milton Berle said laughter is an instant vacation. And if you laugh with me in these next 20 minutes, I suspect that you are gonna feel refreshed and rejuvenated and stay present in the moment now so that you can just go with me on this vacation. So my favorite quote is life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond. Even when life is difficult, we can learn to respond with laughter. And so what we're gonna do is purposefully, playfully laugh because your body doesn't know the difference between laughing on purpose <laughs> and waiting until something is funny. Now you might have laughed with me because you thought it was funny, um, but either way, your body doesn't know the difference. So you get all the health benefits. Now, this is an easy way to remember stress, anxiety, and depression. That's sad. We want you to become less sad. And when you laugh, that's exactly what happens. Here's the chemistry of it. I want you to join me. I can't scroll through and see all the faces at this moment, but I'm anticipating that you might be able to see other people or at least me. What I want you to do is smile, a great big smile. And then I want you to relax your face. And I want you to do it again. This is called Smile Ups. And there will be a handout about this later. And again, relax. When you smile, keep smiling now while I talk. When you smile, you're sending endorphins to your brain. Those endorphins are telling the stress hormone cortisol to take a vacation and to go away. And they're inviting dopamine and serotonin, the feel-good hormones, to come in and set up camp. They're going to stay for a while. And every time you smile, you are sending those chemicals through your brain to help you feel better. That's really important because we are facing a lot of uncertainty and you can get anxious and depressed. And if we want to get ourselves to feeling less sad, all we have to do is smile. Just smiling changes the brain chemistry in your body. Okay, now you also have other things that laughter does for you. You can increase your oxygen flow. We're gonna try something called laughter breaths. And don't worry, we're coming back to smile ups in a minute. So laughter breaths are when you breathe in deeply through your nose and you breathe out through your mouth with, by the words saying ha, 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 over and over until it becomes laughter. All right. So we're going to go into back to smile ups. And right after smile ups, we're going to do laughter breaths. So I'm going to demonstrate one more laughter breath and then we'll do it together. So I, yeah, I do want you to participate. I don't want you just to listen. I want you to do it. All right. So a laughter breath is like this. Breathe in and out with ha, 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 I can hear you laughing with me already. Okay, so back to smile ups. We're on smile number three. Big smile, let your eyes dance and relax. And four, and relax. And five, relax on six. Let's unzip a smile. And let's go ear to ear. Seven, let's go way sideways. And let's go up and down. And we have one more. Let's go as wide as you can. <laughs> All right, now let's breathe in and out with ha. Ah. <laughs> Again, breathe in and out with ha. Ah. <laughs> One more, breathe in and out with ha. Ah. <laughs> Put your hands like this and clap and go ho, ho, ha, 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 ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Again, ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Do you feel silly and playful and ridiculous? Try this. Clap two times. Throw your hands in the air. Very good. Very good. Yay. 
Very good, very good, yay! Here's the thing, no one else can see you. Well, maybe they can, but they're not paying attention to you. They're paying attention to me, or they're worrying about what they look like. I'm encouraging you in these 20 minutes to take your inhibitions away. Let your judgment leave on its own. Put yourself in the driver's seat of your own intention and just intend to be playful, silly, and ridiculous. And the more you can throw your inhibitions out, the more playful you can be, the better you are going to have in this experience. Okay, so what we're gonna do is a bunch of little laughter exercises and they are intended to help put you in the moment and get those chemicals coursing throughout your body in a really fun and playful way. Now, these exercises and these games are all things that you can do to take care of yourself because you need to show up in your best way, even if you're doing it virtually, even if you're taking care of clients, even if you're juggling that and taking care of your kids. And what I wanna do is increase your ability to show up at your best. So we are gonna put some intentional laughter into self-care. So we're gonna start by saying, I love myself, because before you can attend to everyone else, you need to take care of yourself. So this is, I love myself laugh, and I want you to put your hands like this and imagine a yellow giggle in each hand. It's gonna giggle, and as it giggles, it bounces. As it bounces, it multiplies. Before you know it, you can't hold anymore. You're gonna let them all go. All those giggles are gonna go everywhere, and your hands are empty. You're gonna grab all the love that's out in the universe, and there's so much great things we've seen lately, and bring it in for a great big laughter hug, and we're gonna do five of those, because you need four hugs a day to survive and 20 to thrive. And this time, when we are not allowed to be connected with other people, we need some things that we can do for ourselves. All right, so this is I love myself laugh. Do it with me. Come on, shed those inhibitions. Nobody cares. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> Imagine them. They're bouncing. They're multiplying. <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> Here's two. <laughs> Here comes three. <laughs> Really feel the love, now four. <laughs> and five, <laughs> make this one count. <laughs> very good, very good, yay. Very good, very good, yay. Very good, very good, yay. All right, now behind me, you're gonna see a few hashtags. These are very important hashtags. They're helping me get through the days every day. I've been going on Facebook Live every day since March 9th because I realized that people were feeling stressed and they needed to have some things that would help them. And so Eggbach is the first one and it stands for Eggbach, Eggbach, Bach, Bach, Bach. Everything's gonna be okay. Be okay. Do it with me. Eggbach, Eggbach, Bach, Bach, Bach. Again, Eggbach, Eggbach. Bok, bok, bok. Everything's gonna be okay. Be okay. Be okay. All right. <laughs> Very good. Now this next one, Shafe Wave. We are needing to physically distance from each other, but we want to welcome each other with open arms. This is a very welcoming industry. We want to be, you know, inviting. And so we go to shake hands, but we can't. And so we have to do the fist bump, but we can't do that either. And we go to the elbow bump, but that's not far enough. And so we have to back up and wave. It's called a shafe wave. Shake, fist, elbow, wave. We're gonna do it four times. Ready? We're gonna put laughter in there because isn't this ridiculous that this is what we have to resort to. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> If you're working with home, at home with your kids and you need some good reminders of how to do some of the things that they don't want to do, we're going to Weeha 20 and it's wash your hands. You see it? W-Y-Ha. Weeha 20. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. Ready? Let's go.
<laughs> we <Weehaw! laughs> get in the nails <laughs> in between your fingers oh i see some people doing it that's fabulous don't forget to add some laughter <laughs> there are giggle bubbles here <laughs> couple more seconds won't hurt. <laughs> Let's shake off the sillies. And now, very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! I don't know about you, but my hands are like prunes. We're going to dip them in some laughter lotion and feel how creamy and soft and better they feel when we put them in lotion. All right, ready? Let's just dip them in. <laughs> Oh, that feels so much better. <laughs> very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! What's this? <laughs> There's a giggle on my shoulder. Now listen, I really want you to pay attention to this. I want you to do this with me. Tap your shoulder. What's happening? Somebody's tapping your shoulder. Who is it? It's a giggle. It's bouncing up and down. This is your your best tool when you are feeling stressed, upset, anxious, frustrated with your kids, upset with your job for a new deadline and you haven't finished the old one, this giggle right here, this giggle is saying, hey, pay attention to me, I'm not going away until you engage and giggle, let it go, <laughs> let some stress go. You know that when you giggle, you're gonna feel better. And then he's jumping for joy because he's so happy that you did it only now. This one was like, wait a minute, don't forget me. <laughs> All right, and now they're both happy. <laughs> Now, really, I want you to think about it. What would happen if you put this into your life on a regular basis? When you are feeling unhappy, anxious, stressed, just tap your shoulder and then engage with that giggle and then engage with the other one and you are shifting your brain chemistry all around and then you can take a deep breath and revisit whatever it is that's bothering you. Now, how are you gonna use this with your clients? Well, I told you first, you have to take care of yourself and that's the first thing. But now that you are walking around smiling more and laughing because even when you're having a bad day, you're recognizing that you need to giggle because it's gonna feel so much better you're going to start to see that people are going to interact with you differently and you can pass that on to your clients because as they are stressing about what's happening and what about the uncertainty and what about you know all the physical distancing and all these issues you can tell them that you know how about just do this with me Let's just laugh for a second and introduce to them laughter breaths and a couple other exercises, which we're going to do in a minute and just say, just give me a minute. To, let's laugh. And then at the end of the laugh, you will have changed your brain chemistry. Now let's tackle the problem because now we can be a little more creative about it. Okay. So it doesn't really matter how you laugh. Remember that. But since we have the idea that laughter is all about humor, we think that most of our laughter is about humor. Only 20% of the reason that we laugh is as a result of finding something funny. The rest of it has to do with when we're nervous or awkward or feeling scared or bored. And so, as I told you in the beginning, it doesn't matter how you get to the laughter. And so to honor the jokes that people tell, even though sometimes I might not think they're funny, I'm gonna give you a couple of ways to tell jokes that will be funny. And this is another way to disarm a moment that's stressful. So I can't tell jokes very well. So I resort to gibberish jokes. Gibberish jokes are, gibberish is sort of nonsense talk. And I'm gonna tell you a couple of gibberish jokes, some of my favorite ones, and I want you to just laugh out loud with me. All right, here's one of my favorite ones, ready? <laughs> it gets them every time. <laughs> now, don't ask me to repeat that one because it's really hard. Okay, I'll give you one more. Chufi, Natari, Ta, Kiki, Ka, Lafati, Tu, Nawi, Cha, Fudi. Very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! All right, now, 
the joke tellers, they have a conference. And instead of telling all the jokes because they get tired, they all know the same jokes, they have them by number. So you could create your own little jokes by number or your little internal jokes with a client to help them disarm when they get upset or use it with your family when you're you know, having a little tense moment. So I'm gonna tell you joke number 19. <laughs> They say the number and then everybody remembers the joke. <laughs> but you know, the one that I'm always afraid to tell because it's, it takes a minute to get it. It's number 37. <laughs> very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! All right, so now we wanna to try to be interactive. Because we have to be away from each other, I wanna try this exercise called tug of war laughter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull you towards me with laughter and you're trying to pull me towards you. And so it's a little game, all right? This is a great one that you can do with a client just to fill, figure out some connection or do this with your child or your family members that you're trying to Zoom with. All right, let's see who can laugh the most. All right, ready? Here we go. <laughs> okay, last one. Very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! All right, I am so sad that already the 20 minutes is almost up and we're gonna have an opportunity to ask questions. I do wanna give a huge shout out to Eilina Passi. I don't know where you're from, but you are the one picture that's showing up on my screen. And so it's been fabulous for me to see your smiling, laughing face and that you engaged with this. So thank you so much for keeping me sane instead of just laughing with myself. But I do want you to know you can laugh with yourself. And so, uh, uh, let's go ahead and take some questions if there are some. So I'll give it yeah, back to I just you. have a, a couple of questions for you. Uh, first of all, just amazing. I know we've all just been laughing along with you. Um, and so the first question is, what, would you recommend people sort of starting and ending their day with these exercises? Um, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, smile ups is really fabulous to do when you first wake up. If you live with someone, turn to them and say, Let's do 10 smile ups. If you don't and you live alone, go to your bathroom mirror and do it in the mirror. It's very fun to watch yourself. And really it just puts you in a positive mindset. And then go ahead and practice. I didn't always have the ability to laugh like this on purpose without anything. I learned over a period of time and practicing. So doing 10 laughter breaths and 10 smile ups would be a great, great way to, to start your day. Yeah. Um and obviously it's very different doing it online here where you can't hear us laugh. And when you do this in person and in small groups, is it quite difficult because everyone just keeps laughing <laughs> and then you oh, just, no. and it just doesn't so, stop because it's infectious? No. Well, that's, that's the beauty of doing it um, in a group. What happens is these very good, very good, yay, and ho, ho, ha, 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 become the transitions that I teach people early on. And then when they hear it, everyone starts doing it and that's the you know, the key that we're going to now move on to the next exercise. And actually laughter is incredibly contagious. And so it's really, really fun in person. And I can't wait to be at IMEX in Las Vegas in September, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll be doing it again in person. Yeah, let's hope, hope so. Um, and finally, obviously you spoke about like the handshake and the touching. And do you think that would will ever go away? Um, or is, I know very from my experience so far that um, when this was first happening, as soon as you saw someone, you would try and be good, and then within ten minutes you were hugging them. Um, so do you think that eventually, when we feel safe, we would just automatically human nature will just revert back to touching, hugging? Um, yeah. I certainly, I certainly hope so because we are touch oriented people and we need it. I think that there are going to be, you know, trickles we're gonna have to find a place where we feel safe. But um, yeah, I think we will get to a place again. And you know, yeah. we wanna make sure that we don't get there too fast because we don't wanna undo the, the good that we've done. But um, it's, yeah, we'll get there. Yeah.
Um, and one more other question here is that have you practiced this with older people and, and are there any studies of if it's beneficial for their health? Oh my gosh, it is fantastic for elderly people. I have done this with pretty much, there's not a group that I haven't done it with. Seniors are especially great because they get lonely and so it's a social interaction for them. They also need exercise, but they don't get it. Laughter is great exercise. You can actually lose 50 calories in 15 minutes of good, deep belly laughs. Now I wanna just say, the more deeply you can laugh, through your diaphragm, through your belly, the more advantageous it is. There's a lot of really great information that I would have loved to have shared with you, but within 20 minutes, it's really hard to pack it all in. And I wanted you to be laughing because that's like the most important thing. So I'm going to encourage you. Um, there are some handouts available through the website connected with my bio. Also, if you want to send me an email at sarah at laughhealthy.com, I have some extra videos and resources that I can give you. I would encourage you to check on my website, laughhealthy.com. Um, I have a YouTube channel, Laugh Healthy. And um, every day, if you're on Facebook, every day at 1 p.m. Central Time in the U.S., um, which is about, uh, let's see, five hours from now. So you can calculate it from where you are. I do Facebook Live every day for 20 minutes. And that's just to like give people more of this. And we practice every day. And really, the more you practice, the more you laugh and put intentional laughter into your life, the better you will feel. It has changed my life without any doubt.